What's going on, everybody? It's the VG Mobster here, and we are back. I got the commission reorganized. We're sitting at the table, made men right here, talking about the Xbox presentation today. I got K Rock with me. How's it going, everybody? And I got Lonzo the Great. What's going on? Glad to be back. Glad to be back. Sin at our table today, man, serving you guys the goods on the Xbox presentation. Um, this is a special commission cast. Usually we go into kind of like what games we're playing and then we go into like the general news. But today we're just going to deep dive into the Xbox games presentation. There were a lot of games. We're going to tell you guys whether the games are worth playing, what our thoughts are. And again, you probably heard this from everybody else at this point who probably have hundreds of thousands of more subscribers than us combined. But until you hear from the commission, you haven't heard from Made Men. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, so now you 100%. hear it from the Made Men, all right? People at the table. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And I vouch for that. Exactly. So we're we gonna do this official. We're gonna go through we're gonna go through a couple games and then we're gonna give our overall thoughts. Um, so let, I'm just going to drive this ship today, guys, and then we'll, uh, you know, we'll kind of uh, get you guys, everybody to chime in. So, you know what? We got to start um, with how the presentation started, how I predicted it was going to start pretty much the common sense way for this presentation to start with the Halo Infinite gameplay. Now, I'm going to I'm going to let K-Rock start on this. Um, what did you think about the Halo Infinite gameplay? It's going to go K-Rock, Lonzo, and then I'll anchor it up. What did you think about the Halo Infinite gameplay they showed? It was about eight minutes. Um, what did you think, man? Gameplay-wise, I absolutely loved it. I mean, there were some new mechanics there that I thought, you know, really, you know, were they weren't innovative, but they were certainly welcome in the, the Halo, you know, franchise, right. for example. Yeah. You know, like vaulting and, gra and the grapple hook thing, you know, that was pretty cool, and I'll admit that. But, um... You know, I woke up at four o'clock in the morning to watch that and I felt like I was slapped in the face um, in terms of the presentation. But the gameplay, I absolutely loved it. The only thing I was disappointed with um, was you, you think that after how long has it been? Almost 20 years now mm -hmm. that Halo has been around. Oh, well, yeah, almost 20 and they still don't aim. Yeah. There's no aiming. Yeah. It, and it, it that really bothers what? me. Uh, it's it's a it's a small gripe, Come on, but aim? was that? No, it's just you Come just on, lock on aim? no, not the lock on aim. It's just like you know when you press the left trigger and then you press the right trigger to shoot that. Oh, okay. That's the thing that really bothers me about Halo. Doesn't bother me with Overwatch for some reason, but it bothers me with Halo. Um, the gameplay. What I what I liked most about it was that the gameplay seemed as refined as it's ever been. You know, the little punches, the jumping, the vaulting, it all made sense. It made me feel more like Master Chief in a sense, you know, as opposed to just walking or running or sprinting and then taking cover. This made me feel like a badass in a sense that we always knew Master Chief was. So re re really welcome additions, even though they're not innovative, but certainly looking forward to for, playing for it Halo, yes absolutely yeah 100 percent. absolutely loved it but cool. you know in terms of graphics uh you know we'll we'll just kind of i guess deep dive into that as we get more into this cast today all right and lonzo what'd you think overall and then uh i'll i'll give you guys some of my thoughts on it I think it started off very well with how it started with the CG cutscene and mm -hmm. just getting yeah. you right in the right in the jump from the get go. I like that sure. how it started. And mm -hmm. the gameplay is seemed like just the typical Halo. Halo like it's always been had like fluid can it's look like everything was fluid. The Warhawk controls look like super fluid. I think it looked good. Not nothing like innovative like K Rock said. Just mm -hmm. it's just me first I'm just not really a huge fan of like first person first person shooters mm -hmm. but i might give it a shot i haven't really made up my mind yet but from okay. what i've seen it looked pretty good i have no well like you're gonna say about the having more varied environments instead mm -hmm. of just the environment that they showed now, yeah i forgot to mention like that too yeah. environments and stuff like that to get my attention to see what more mm -hmm. the game had to offer i probably would have a higher look on it but from what i've seen i think it was a pretty good start yeah they, they did say that the map was was um 
bigger than the previous two games combined. So yeah, that's pretty um, dope. Yeah, the that's, campaign that, is really their. It's going to be badass. Are, yeah. So that's cool. That's good. And and the thing is too, I, it was the thing. I think the theme of this presentation that I really liked from Microsoft, like just overall, until I I go into my Halo thoughts, is that that you see they are dedicated to more single player experiences. Like they, they made their mistake last gen. They tried to make everything multiplayer, everything, you know, kind of like either online only or like hero shooters or whatever. Now they're starting to, you know, through this presentation, you can see they're, they're saying, Hey, we're going to deliver some single player experiences. And even though halo, we know halo is about the multiplayer, we're still going to give you the beefiest campaign. So that was, to me, that was really nice to hear. And they obviously took the feedback well, and they're implementing it. So that's really cool. Um, I like that about the presentation when I heard about it. Like Lonzo said, um, I said this off air before we started, but I'm going to say it again. The thing that really I I didn't I think they could have improved on this trailer. Um, I did I agree with Lonzo. I did like the intro cutscene. Really set the scene, gave it more of a cinematic yep, feel. I agree. Kind of reintroduced the players, the the viewers to Master Chief. It's been a while, honestly. Let's be honest. Like they yeah. haven't seen him in a while. So you know, kind of like reintroduced him. You know, when you're done with the season, like previously on, yeah, you know, they kind of like reintroduced you to Master Chief. Yeah. And- as weird as that sounds but the thing was they only really showed the gameplay from one area this like kind of open i viewed it more like a horizon zero dawn kind of like big field vista mountain kind of area and i feel like i I, i'm i'm torn because Oh, yes, I did want to see actual gameplay. Like, I did want to see that, but they gave me eight minutes in the same environment. I would have rather had two and a half in that environment, two and a half in, like, an environment later in the game, and then two and a half, like, Uh in between that. So, first of all, the players could see, like, you know, maybe different environments would also kind of impress the players more like oh man like yeah that intro was kind of cool but oh man when they were inside in the ship like it was absolutely insane or like oh man we were in this like toxic waste area like they showed and you see all the bubbles and like whatever you know what i'm saying like if they whatever other area they showed like you would have had more opportunities to kind of grip people in so i think that was like a big mistake with the presentation i think they could have hooked more people in because like carl said and i also agree with you on that the mechanics that they you know they showed and just the fluidity of it i mean they said that it was running 4k 60 which i mean that's pretty awesome you know and you could tell like the detail of the guns and stuff like it was legit you know what i mean and i liked like the grappling hook i actually liked there was my favorite shot of the whole trailer was when you see Master Chief in that like assault vehicle and then he rolls out and then you start to see like it goes from the third person over the shoulder right into the first and he goes like right into combat. Like that was to me, that was really cool. Like you saw the dynamic change of pace and like the style of the game. And it was like, it was smooth. It was flawless. There was no frame rate drops, like nothing. It just kind of like went right into it. And to me, like that was pretty impressive. And you just saw like kind of all the mechanics working. I just think the biggest problem for me is they just needed more environment variety, like kind of, you know, do a gameplay trailer, not just like a gameplay segment, if that made sense. You know? Yeah, I think that would have been a lot better, and I I honestly have a theory as to why we only got a small smidgen of this big grand world. But you know that we'll get into it as we go along. Yeah. So I mean, like, I mean, that was my. I mean, yeah. You know what, Carl? Go into it because we're gonna move on. There's a yeah, lot yeah. Talk. All right. So go, into this, <laughs> go into this section. Yeah, like, like when we're done with the chest. <laughs> Yeah, we're done well, with we're look, on. I'm going to just say it right now. There, it's, it's, I'm, I'm going to say it in a few words. It's being rushed. How do I know it's being rushed? Because every couple of weeks, I get an email or a phone call from you know Washington saying, uh, we'd like to interview you for a producer position over at 343. And I know what game it is. There, there's no way there's, it's not the game that I'm thinking it is because 
you're talking about getting this game as a launch title for a console that's coming out in the holiday season you got to hire as many people as you can to get the game done so i think that's I mean, that's going to move that's going to move systems if they don't have yeah it, ex not, exactly move, so man. that's why i think the game that's why the game looked the way it did um do i think that's the finished product no i just don't think they should have shown it in that state but that's mostly why we got it in the state that it was in during the presentation as well as well as that small smidgen of area that we were exposed to i mean did the gameplay look good? Yes. You mean 4K 60 frames a second? Not bad. Great. And you can tell it's ne you can tell it's next gen only from the lighting. I had to pause and rewind stuff and kind of get a really, you know, zoomed in shot, but in full motion it just looks like an Xbox One. And yeah, well you got to That's because well, it's being remember. rushed. I mean it, it is going to be a smart delivery. Right? So Yeah, and I hate that. The, I absolutely gotta, hate that. I, gotta, I, you know, they got to scale it back a little bit because, and that's what that's what that's what really killed Destiny uh, back in the day when it was being made for PS4, you know, Xbox One, PS3, Xbox 360. Mm -hmm. The graphics were really. I'm not saying the graphics are a hundred times better now than they were back then, but they do look a little bit sharper. Gameplay look is a lot better, and at least for me, you know, I put like 2300 hours into that first game so i mean i kind of get an idea of what it's like but you know when it comes to stuff like this this uh cross-gen gameplay i do i agree agree with it hell no because look at halo do i agree with backwards compatibility sure you know because red dead looks like an xbox one title um on that xbox one x and um no, I just I'm 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 mixed. I'm really I'm, yeah, I, I feel like I, I was slapped in the face a little I, bit. I see why Microsoft's doing it though, yeah. because I mean they promised Halo a long time ago. So yeah, they did. You know, it's kind of like it's kind of like with Wii U and Breath of the Wild. Like Nintendo still had to put out Breath of the Wild on Wii U because it was promised on that system. You know what I mean? So they they have to do i mean they're going to add you know patches and you know um upgrade patches and optimizations for the series x but we're not going to i mean just like any system we're not going to see you know the full capabilities of the console until, that's like, true year two, you know and and, I mean? and so, you know what's you know what later, i really like about it later two and a half three years yeah i'll say what i like but about it though still... sorry no go ahead lonzo go go oh no all i'm gonna say about this what you're saying about all oh, the smart delivery Yes, I agree with you. I don't really like it either. But for at least for Microsoft, this going off of what's going on right now with the pandemic, I think it's a smart choice because okay. you know, like, people not having like jobs and whatnot, not everyone going to be able to afford to go out and buy like, a next-gen system. So at least giving more people the opportunity to play these games that they got. So That's true. And can also yeah, be and who knows. For people who can't jump to the new systems. Yeah, and who knows how many systems they're going to be able to make. That's true. But, you know, I, I, I will say what I like about this new Halo. It's 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 a ever-evolving, I don't want to say, dare I say, games of, as a service. Um, well, it is called Infinite. So, yeah, so they're yeah, what, like what, what I understand is that there's going to be constant updates to the game that, you know, oh, add, add sure. new levels, add new missions, more enemies, etc., and if the, maps, yeah, and, you know, and if they're going to take that approach to it, then I'll accept what I saw, you know, because what, what I saw wasn't too thrilling if you're going to give it to me as a complete package. But when you when you say, hey, we're going to we're going to take the games as a service approach to a point with it, then OK, fine, because that means I can get more bang for my buck with it. Especially, well, and if you have games pass. Yes, you, you get, get it. Right, right off the bat. Yeah, you get it right off the bat. You so get it as long as you keep your subscription. So not going to lie, though, the listing went on Steam and I put, added it to my wish list real fast. Uh, but I, I kind of want that Xbox X, though. Series X, I mean, so we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, we'll see. You know, you don't have to, again, people got to understand, too, man. Like, you don't have to rush and get it day one. I mean, like, you know, honestly, it's probably better if you can wait a little bit now do you guys all have xbox one x do we all have it you I have, have you, have one one, you have one x carl or? I, nah i was gonna get it until the uh oh, okay, that okay. steampunk thing that cyberpunk they discontinue cyberpunk. yeah they discontinued yeah. it and well, i got the yeah i got the cyberpunk so yeah i mean you know we're yeah, gonna you got 
Yeah, thanks, man. Um, <laughs> so, like, you know, to me, like, even for two, even for two years, I mean, I'm gonna be able to play the same games. And if and if right. like, let's say it's like really bad on one X, which I don't really think it is, but let's say it's gonna be really bad on one X, I can still play them on PC. That's so, true. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't have to. I mean, to me, like that's it's the gift and the curse from Microsoft. You know what I mean? Like, what what is you know? Like, I'm, I'm glad that you're putting it on PC, but didn't they say that the, the system because of that? Didn't they say that the first year or two of the system's life cycle, in yeah. terms of the Series X, that every game yeah. was going to be uh, one act? Yeah, yeah, one played X back and be, forth. Not going to be no exclusive. Yeah, yeah, one X is going to be able to handle a lot of the series X, like they're going to get versions of them. I mean, they're not going to be the I, the best versions, but they're going to be pretty good. I think they're going to be pretty solid. Cause you gotta, you gotta figure too, like these system, I mean, these games like yeah. cyberpunk and whatever they're they were really developed on Xbox, like one X more so than series X. Like they're just adding patches for series x at this point i only uh, like, i only want to play yeah. cyberpunk for one reason and one reason only but we got to keep it pg in this uh, one yeah. <laughs> i don't know why we can, talk, we, can talk, we can talk about that off air yeah off, off air, air would be good, would be good. <laughs> all right so that that's good on that's good on halo um let's go let's go into another game that i like really you know think was good let's let's go into again it was short but to me, it was still, still yeah. Well, we'll go on that one too. But let, let, it was short. But I, I think we need to talk about. Because to me, this was like one of the highlights of the show is the return of Fable. Um, to me, this game is something that is is going to be like I have I have a lot of faith in playground games. I think they've done a really good job um with the you know forza horizon series like with the worlds they've been building i mean that's a car game and the worlds that you go around are like really awesome looking and you know, detailed and well designed and you know the thing is like i was saying before with halo this this game was so important to me in this presentation because it it showed again microsoft heard like they need another big single player experience like fable is not going to have if it does have a multiplayer it's going to be like a secondary thing this is a single player game you know what i mean this is the type of game i mean the to me that the teaser looked amazing i mean that yeah. just the vistas and like it was so sharp and like everything looked really good and i i mean i just have an affinity because i remember when the original fable launched and like how groundbreaking that game was in terms of just like you know that type of game we hadn't really seen it before like to that extent um and i think that's what they're gonna do here i think this game was like is really gonna like push systems and it's gonna push the hardware um it's gonna be one of those like first games that really pushes the hardware um so i'm excited about it i mean again downside of it i wish we actually saw a little bit of real gameplay and not just like a CG cutscene with a pan up to the Vista, which really looked awesome. Um, but I think it was just, I think again, just the statement that it made, like, Hey, we're, we, you know, we know now we're not just going to, you know, do online only single player hero, first person shooters. Like we want to make more games that the people that predominantly play singer player games in addition to that can play and this game is probably made me the most excited of any of the games just because again not because of what they showed per se but because i know the series and i see like the vision where they're going and the possibilities in my head i'm kind of like filling in the blanks if that makes sense um and yeah a lot of people, i see what and a lot saying. of people on you know on twitter today were saying well they didn't show anything and how do you have faith i'm like i think it's i think i just have faith because of the developer and because i know the series oh, I and, I, and i yep, see i agree and i see where they the potential that they have and and the importance and again also the positioning of this game was really important in the presentation. If Fable was in the middle of the presentation, I would have been worried because to me, then it wouldn't have been their priority game. Like, you know, this wasn't, it wouldn't have been the game that they're planning to jaw drop with people. They drop Fable as the last game because it's important to them. 
You know what I mean? Like that's a game that they know is going to draw interest. And I think that they're going to put some time and effort into. Um, so, I mean, for me, you know, that like, that's, that's what I thought about it. What, what did you think, K-Rock? Uh, as, as short as that trailer was, I'm going to give you an answer. I've never seen or played Fable. I've seen the graphics and stuff like that, but I've never, Dude, it's, I've it's, never it's put really sat down cool, to play man. it. I'll, I'll say this. Really cool. Fable Anniversary is eight bucks on Steam. Uh, mm-hmm. That that little snippet got me curious enough to say, well, you know what? Let me spend the eight bucks because it's normally thirty nine. So I'll go ahead and check that out. But it's it's not a system seller for me because it mm-hmm. just to kind of go off on a small little tangent. I just started playing Final Fantasy VII remake, you know, from where I left off, and I <laughs> and and I just got I just got past that. That's why. You know I think that? that's going to be the running joke of the commission cast. Well, you want to know how far? Fu- episode 100. I figured out exactly <laughs> where I was in the game. So I'm on chapter nine. You beat the uh, arena, f- mm-hmm. you know, you know, fighting with Aerith and all yeah, that yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So that's where I'm at. I'm right there. The house. Right? Yeah. It, fight the house, right? You got to fight the house and that big ass mm-hmm. robot. It, it was so cool. Yeah. Anyway. Um, it was cool. Games like that, I milk them for all they're worth. So if I get to them, if anything, um gonna be a long time and you know i still haven't played dead rising one yet so that 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 should uh and it's in my catalog so it, it's well but you know what this, really like good. honestly honestly really to good. me yeah to yeah. me like but you know what though see to me that trailer worked because you it bought did. the original fable right yeah after. It, it, exactly because you know you were more, you were more intrigued you were you were intrigued you know what i'm saying yeah and like, for and for eight yeah, bucks as opposed to 40 i mean it, it kind of makes sense but yeah, i will i will say this not to kind of jump ahead when i saw the playstation event and they showed that spider-man i had to have that system absolutely had to I, have uh, it well, I mean, and yeah, that's a more that's a more recent i mean that game just came out so right more recent and, you know, and then resident well, I'm not gonna. This is an X- Xbox thing, but you you get the point. There, there were certain games that made me sit there and say, "I gotta have that system day one." Oh, we'll we'll go into that. Yeah. In overall thoughts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, let's just. That's, go yeah, I, did, I didn't want to. So, I didn't want to so, jump ahead. Sorry. No, no, of course. Yeah. I, I it, it, yeah. Stuff bleeds in. That's fine. So, Lonzo, what did you think? What did you think of Fable, man? The the teaser. What did you think? I still think it looked really good, and I I also haven't played Fable before. I I, oh, I man, wanted to. Dude. So good. I was so, so I was so I was so hyped about it when they were first came up about like the very first one when Paula Pierre and Jamal News was yeah, talking yeah, about yeah, all yeah. the things you would be able to do. <laughs> I was so excited to play it just for all the stuff that he promised. <laughs> but then mm-hmm. after not to give a little history lesson about on um, favor, so mm-hmm. I'm just not talk about mm-hmm. that. <laughs> I'm just get back. But I, I think that the, but they show it looked really really pretty. I wish that they showed more. Mm-hmm. But I know it's probably yeah, super early in development. That's probably why they didn't sh- they didn't show a lot. I mean, I don't really have a history with the franchise, but if I do give it a shot, it's because of play the company making it. Because I don't think they have made a single bad game. No. Every Forza game, they've been making two different Forza franchises, and every single game they made been good. I have so faith good. in what yeah. them as a company, as a studio. I have a faith in them as a studio that they're gonna do this on um, franchise justice and get it to where it need to be. So. If I play, that's what the treatment of most who making it more than the franchise itself. Yeah, so. man. I mean, you know, the Microsoft gave the keys to the right developer, and I think that was one of the reasons. Like, if they if they said like a you know another developer was doing this game, I don't know if I would have been as excited. But I, like you said, I know the quality of Playground. Um, I know the games that they've been making, and I mean, those to me, what they've done with the Horizon series is is insane. I mean, for a, a game that's really just about racing cars, like at its core, that's they've true. made it so much more. You know what I mean? Like they've really developed the worlds that you drive in, all the missions that you do, and like it's yeah. just really cool. So, I mean, for me, like I, I don't think I think whoever made this decision to give them the keys to this dormant IP that really I think needs to be resurrected. Um, I think they did a really good job. So awesome! All right, guys. That's cool, man. Now, again, Carl, just tell me, tell me too. I mean, I wanted to make sure we touch on those, but like, give me a game from the presentation that you like kind of stood out to you. Maybe like one or two 
that kind of like stood out to you personally. That's um, not Halo. We'll kind of go from there. Yeah, besides Halo and Fable, like two other games that from the presentation because they showed over. T- I think it was like twenty two games. Or twenty two so games. A lot of games, but yeah, what? What? Yeah. yeah. What? What games did you like? Stood out to you? State of Decay. I mean, I'm, I'm a I'm a sucker for zombie games, so I kind of really dug that a little bit. The graphics um, were sick on it. Oh no, they did. I would like. I would have preferred to see a little bit more. You know, gameplay. Um, yeah, me too. Because it, it, it kind of gives me that Walking Dead vibe. So oh, yeah. I kind of... Right. That's, I, that's what it does, yeah. I definitely... I want to check that out. That that really stood out to me. And, you know... I mean... It, really not much else. Uh, I it, I would say the Forza Motorsport one was was, was I mean, really dude, good. the game looks yeah, it, it. I mean, whether you like the game I or had not, to, it, it, it looks ridiculous. I had to take a second and third glance at the screen because the car that was on the screen a few times it was on there, it looked really realistic. I'll, I'll give them that. Okay. So is there like another game, maybe like... Um... I don't know. Did Everwild do anything for you? Did like, oh uh, yeah, what's the name of that? Uh, Balan Wonderland. I think that's what it was called. Uh, the, the Wonderland game. What's it? Wonderland Everwild. No, no, no. Everwild? It's the, the oh, rare game. Which you're one? The one that's about, oh Square Enix. Oh Balan. Oh, Balan. Balan. Yeah. Balan. I don't know why yeah. I called it. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Balan I Wonderland. yeah Balan Wonderland. Yeah, I, I thought looked really good. Um, and I'm the first too. And I and I hate to say it, um, because I, I it stood out to me because I envisioned it to be a game that would eventually come to the Nintendo Switch. That you know, it's it, it, it's 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 you can't put a game out there like that, you know, at least from my point of view, and have people think of another competitor. And that's exactly what happened with me. I'm like, well, I mean, oh my god, Switch is sold sixty million copies. Yeah, right now. and and Xbox go forty nine. So I wouldn't put it put, out more years. I wouldn't I put it past Square Enix or Microsoft to put that game out on the Switch at some point. They but will. I think they will. Is yeah. as long as see, I'm gonna get. I I probably would get a Series X just to re-download all the crap that I've downloaded from the 360 all the way to, mm-hmm. yeah, you know. Well, dude, that's a big selling. It, it'll 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 be my machine to play all the games I've already bought and hopefully. If you're I- in like this is the thing like again spoiler alert for the future of this cast, but if you are in are you if you're it's kind of like if you're in the Apple Ecoverse, if you're in the Microsoft Ecoverse, if this is like. You know, you have Game Pass, you bid on Xbox Live Gold, you subscribe, you have all these games in your backlog, you have, like, the older systems. This console is going to be great for you. You know what yep. I mean? Like, yep. uh, to me, to me though, it's about going beyond that, but we'll go into that a little later. So, Lonzo, what are two other games that stood out to you in the presentation that you just kind of want to note here? Two games that stood me. I think it was called Medium, the game that had the like you can mm-hmm. be able to like, have two different. That's actually a good one too. One that yeah, looks that, sad, bro. yeah, having the two. So at first, when I first saw that trailer, I thought it was gonna be that that room with Solid Hill game that everybody was rumoring to come to PlayStation when it first started. I was like, hold on, is this that room with Solid Hill game? It gave that, that vibe. You're right. Rumor? It gave that vibe. That's so what I thought at first. It, <laughs> And then when it started, I think that was really interesting with how they're working with the dual world thing. I th- felt that was like really interesting. And the other game really that cool. interests really me cool. is the image and form game. Um, the the Gunk, I think that's what it's called. Gunk. Yeah, yeah Gunk, the Gunk, Gunk, yes. Gunk, yeah. yeah, image yeah. and form. You like that? Yeah, I thought it was, nice. I, I like uh, image and form. They make good, inter- good games. Yeah. I'm a Image huge fan of their games. Oh they, they make a lot of great so games. I thought, I thought I was the only one because I was like, oh, that's kind of interesting. I might check that out. Dude, Steamroll, I mean, dude, I, I, Steamroll Dig Two is the best, one of the top three independent Switch games. So, I mean, I, I'm is. not gonna put anything past them, in my opinion. Um, for real, I agree with you. And I like they able to like go, and I like how they able to go from genre to genre, and still make games like super good. Like I thought it would, then what did was a Metrovania, then it went to like mm-hmm. an RTS with Heist. Then turn mm-hmm. into an RPG with quests, and they were all good. They had to go from genre to genre to keep putting out good games. So that's what Treven must. I was just want to see how it turned out. I think it's gonna be really good. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned I some heard a quality lot of titles. Wasn't about that after the com after the um the con- the uh, pr- conference. They were saying about the gunk that came up a lot. I don't blame people. Image and Form is a sick developer, bro. So like, 
I'm totally for it. I'm surprised Carl didn't mention Destiny 2 again. Because I thought why that was would? Game. Oh my God! Why would I mention <laughs> Destiny 2? It's 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 you know, it, Bungie should be ashamed of themselves for even putting that trailer in that presentation. I I thought that was kind of a I don't know why Microsoft. It woke me up. Like, it woke like me up whole, for like a whole like you know it's supposed to be a Halo showcase and then you put bungees like yeah you you ditched it let, let me like, just let me just say like, something we, we already know that it's not even destiny 3 if it was destiny 3 oh. i would have been a little more okay with it but it's just destiny you aren't gonna see like, yeah that's the thing you aren't gonna see destiny 3 until they improve everything that activision screwed up in the first place but you know it, it's like with when i saw that i was i was watching it and i was slowly nodding off because you know it's yeah. Or five o'clock in the morning but as soon as they showed that i'm like yeah. no is it and then they're like oh play the new expansion i'm like no way come on you can't put that no it's it's it should be you know it shouldn't have been a part of the presentation um just mainly because it's co- it's co- it's common knowledge sorry it's common knowledge it's being ported over they had they, they had to Destiny 2 about to be like GTA 5, RE4, and Skyrim. It got to come to everything. <laughs> they don't have a choice. <laughs> I actually, I actually have, I have the Destiny 2 expansion on my Amazon Alexa speaker as well, just like Skyrim. So. <laughs> just, just FYI. You got sure. it on your refrigerator? I would yeah, love to, I got you. Dude, my fridge, you man. Your I, wa- I would love to play it. it. I would love to play it with Alexa and see what she does <laughs> with it. <laughs> 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 but all right so for, <laughs> that's pretty funny it's true it's true it goes on everything bro um for me like two games that stuck out in the, the presentation other than what you guys said um the avowed to me stuck out like no, obsidian. obsidian obsidian makes sick rpgs bro like they make that's what they do like they're that's their bread and butter this game has got that it's got that skyrim vibe to me um and you could see like it was really cool when he had the sword but then his other hand is like making into like a magic orb and then he's like going into battle like it just looked like it really scratched that itch for me because who knows when the new elder scrolls game is going to come out like might be (laughs) who knows i don't even know how long it's going to be so skyrim will be there no uh, oh skyrim i'm talking about the next (laughs) game um re4 gonna be there too yeah, RE4. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, it was always going to be there. Um, hopefully, it's hopefully it's the remake though. Hopefully, it's the remake. Um, oh, uh, don't yeah. get don't that get me started hard. on that. Oh yeah, my god. Hopefully, that's going. Oh back. yeah. So I mean, to me, like that game, and again, just because of the strength of the developer. Um, also, I I did like seeing the DLC for Outer Worlds because Outer Worlds is a really awesome game. Um, so to see them, like, yeah, you could see that, like, hey, Outer Worlds is doing really well, so they're giving them, you know, the ability to do a DLC. That was really cool, just as, like, a side note. Um, but the other game that, I mean, I, you know, I agree with you guys, too. Like, the Gunk was really cool. Uh, Medium was good. Um, another game that I, 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 again, I'm not going to write this game off yet. I think that um, Everwild does have a chance okay to be good it does now again was the trailer that they showed the best trailer i think it was a little like too magic-y a little too like um you know fantasy based and i think they they should have showed more of the game actually like gameplay for that game you know what i mean so like i think like that the cg like everybody okay if you start off with the cg on it it's good because the art style is really cool on it but i think people need to see it moving and i think but i I, in my head i kind of pictured it moving um so it wasn't as bad for me and i could kind of see where rare is going with it um so i'm not gonna write that game off i think that was actually pretty cool um, I think it actually is going to turn out to be good. I just, I'm a little disappointed that they didn't have more to show here on that game because we actually saw it at the other event too. That's where they revealed it. And I thought yeah. for this event, they yeah. would have had a little more gameplay with it. Actual um, gameplay. Yeah, exactly. Like actual gameplay, but they didn't. So whatever. And then also too, like I, I think another, again, it did look amazing. And a lot of people thought it was Xenoblade. 
on on Series X. But I think it's really important game. I just have to note Fantasy Star Online um, for Xbox. I think that game is, dude. I think that game is really important because we all know Xbox just. I mean, it was sold as a 4K Blu-ray player. They didn't even market it as Xbox. They marketed it as a 4K Blu-ray True. player. It was so bad. So I think they had to get a game like this, a game like Yakuza, getting Kingdom Hearts over. Like These are the type of things Final Fantasy they're going to get. They need to get those type of games. Dragon they need Quest to 11. Get Dragon Quest 11 they announced. Like, not here, but... Um, outside of it i'll tell you what they need the, to in really the beginning or yeah pre-show pre-show um i think these games are really important like because they have to you know mend the japanese audience because japan buys a lot of games man for the amount of people that they have they buy a lot of games so you, you gotta hit that market and xbox sure. just wasn't there at all I'm going to go out on a limb and say that even though they, they, they hit that market just a little bit, they're ultimately going to fall flat. No, but, but yeah. what I'm saying is yeah. I, under, I understand what you're saying. It, it is a huge uphill climb, but you got to start from somewhere. And then That's I feel true. with Xbox One, That's they true. weren't even starting to climb. They just stayed at the bottom. Yeah, when you put it that way, it makes this, sense. Like, yeah. they're, tr- they're at least going to give it an effort. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I agree with that. I agree with that. So I think that was a big no, that was a big game to show. No love whether you whether you liked it or not is one thing, but like, you know, yeah. it's important just to their strategy with this system, you know. I, I, I my understanding is it's completely free to play, so obviously I'm I'm gonna download that and check it out. But True. I, I yeah, immediately it's thought always online. I never played the first thing, one, but but it's always online. But, but that's whatever. how the I'm, game. That's how the game was built. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's been like I that since the like the beginning. Since the Dreamcast days, it was always yeah, that, online. Yeah, that's not my. That's not like my cup of tea. But you know, I mean, I just think the importance yeah. of the game and putting it in this presentation. I, again, I think I don't think I heard a lot of people talking about that. But I think it was no. important for them to do it. If that makes sense, you know. Oh well, yeah, it's just a, it's just another game, another notch on the belt, so to speak. So it it, it kind of makes sense. All right, cool. So all right, last topic here before we we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna give our overall impressions. Okay. Now give me give me something in the presentation. Again, we've been pretty positive actually so far about the presentation. Give me something that was really disappointing to you. I mean, it could just even just one thing. If you have one or two things, like just the things that really stood out to you that were like glaring holes, because this definitely wasn't a 10 out of 10 presentation or anything. So, Carl, what were the things that bothered you about the presentation? Like, one or yeah, Alonzo, what are the two, yeah, let him two go first. Things, two things that, that bothered you about the presentation? Well, on uh, one, I think they sh- didn't show too enough gameplay, they showed more CG trailers than actual mm-hmm. gameplay. Especially and the middle. The other sure. one is I know I know a lot of people have been like dumping on this game for since the last time they showed it, but I really want to see if they made any progress for it. What was Battletoads? I really want to see if they made any progress with Battletoads. Dude, uh, Battletoads, nowhere, to be seen. So, nowhere, nowhere to be found. I mean, honestly, uh, I think they're pulling a Metroid Prime four with that game. I think they're completely redoing it. I, I really yeah, they think could, that. Yeah. I know it took a lot of heat with his art style. A lot of people didn't like the art style of the game when they mm-hmm. showed it. Like, what, last year, I think they showed it? Yeah, last year. And, and yep. it, yeah, and it, it got bashed a lot for his art style. So I think they took that feedback. Like, I don't think people like what we're doing with this game. Let's reboot it. and Let's start from scratch and try to take this in a different direction. But the thing I feel like awkward, like fans been uh, calling for Banjo to get a new game. But they chose to get Battletoads a game instead. That feel kind of like awkward that they felt more that they love Battletoads more than Banjo. Nobody really asked for Battletoads. A lot of fans are beating the table for Banjo, but Banjo can't get his own game. And you know, it's really weird to me. Like I'm just gonna piggyback on this point, and then I'll I'll let Carl do his too. I mean, you know, why did Microsoft let Banjo get into Smash? Okay. Most of the time when companies, you know, third parties let you go into Smash, they have, it's a stepping stone 
for them to further develop and either reintroduce or like you know extend the brand like what are they doing with it then what do they do why did they do it because fans wanted it <laughs> no i know fans, fans want it, of course of course fans, but what i'm saying is like microsoft to yeah. me that's like a fumble like you yeah, know if anything if anything banjo is more relevant now like people actually know who he I is but i mean I like me i'm gonna know because i played on n64 but like sure. you know people like that don't and have it in town 64 just started playing on ps2 or ps3 they have no idea who banjo yeah. is and like right. now you finally got him back in the spotlight a little bit and you didn't do anything all they had to do honestly and you know what i I think this would have been so big all they had to do is just like pull a metroid prime 4 just give them an animated logo logo. just give them an animated logo people would have gone just say they'll up the internet yeah it would have blew up and just say in development that's it Yep. And it would have blew up the internet and you would have capitalized off the smash inclusion. And, you know, the people, like you said, people out there, they're vocal about it. So I, I just had to piggyback on that. But anyway, so Carl, what did, what were two things that you didn't like about the presentation? I'll just give you one. Um, okay. not- I think this one's going to be pretty long though. So no, 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 not, not one game in that presentation gave me the impression that we are entering next gen at all. Not any not there wasn't not one title that's gonna be i'm gonna piggyback off of that on my in my point but keep yeah going. um i didn't want to say that that's my point you know you you can tell you can talk about ray tracing and all you want being added to these games you know when they're launched and they're gonna look great i've already seen minecraft with ray tracing because you know some youtubers that you know disassembled it and reassembled it and you know kind of showed that off and it looks fantastic but for God's sakes, this is a next-gen console. We're asking for gameplay. You're going to give us gameplay that resembles possibly two gens, you know, compared to the, the one that we're entering? Uh, no, nah, I don't think so. I mean, because when you look at Halo Reach and then you look at <laughs> Halo Infinite, the detail on the guns. Are you talk about meme, are you? Hell yeah, I'm going to talk about that meme. <laughs> The, the gun. Me that's on, on Twitter. <laughs> oh my God! I I had to when I saw that I went back. I compared the stuff for myself a little bit, and the Halo, the detail in Halo Reach looks a little bit better, just a little bit, just a little bit. You know, so um, I'm not convinced that. And and the same thing. I'll just kind of defend Xbox a little bit in this sense that even though I don't like the fact that none of these games look like they were getting ready for a next gen release. Same thing goes for PlayStation. There, there, there really wasn't anything there that said, oh my God, I got to go get that PlayStation. The only reason why I jumped at the screen for Spider-Man was because I want more Spider-Man. You tell me that game comes out on PlayStation 4, I'm, I'm, I have no reason. So, I mean, to me, I, I would buy it for her, but that's, but that's me. Well, yeah, I mean, but Ratchet that game's going to... Ratchet Clank. Ratchet Clank. Ratchet Clank. Ratchet Clank too. A lot of these games are going to... I'm not a huge fan of that franchise. That's so, true. So that's, and, you know... That, that was one of the best gameplay reveals I've seen. You know, but a lot of these games, a lot of these games can be played... I, I, I don't buy the fact that these games are next-gen games at all. The same thing goes for PlayStation. The Ratchet and Clank, you add a new mechanic to it, you can easily t- use the features of the PlayStation 4 Pro to take advantage you know uh, i don't know i feel like the speed of the gameplay i don't know what SSD? I don't, yeah yeah i don't know if that the ssd be. does make a difference but i mean it's it's all a matter of how you develop for it yeah, and, if, and if and if and if you're de- and if you're developing with the ssd in mind then of course you won't be able to kind of take that game and put it on a system that's not running an ssd but in terms of what they're showing you know, in terms of Ratchet it's and Clank. It's not wow. It's not No, wowing. no, yeah. not at all. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. The, the, yeah. Good jumping from yeah. portal to portal yeah. in Ratchet and Clank, I mean, can be done without an SSD. But as far as what we're talking about, no, there, there's, there's nothing about it that makes me scream, oh my God, I'm ready for next gen. Absolutely not. Sorry. Then, all right. So I'm, I'm sorry gonna, for the I'm rant. Go little my, little rant I'm there. I'm gonna piggyback off the of Carl here, and I think my biggest problem with the presentation because the game that I've seen so far that would be quote unquote next gen to me, like looked next gen, was Hellblade. When we first saw that Hellblade chart, to me, 
that looked like next gen to me because the detail was so much better than the first one. Even though it was CG, it it looked so much better than a lot of these other games that we've seen. And the fact that in this presentation, they didn't even show more. I mean, they they you know they had this big lead up to it, and they showed the Ninja Theory guy, and then they even cut the thing that was so bad. The thing that got me so mad about this presentation, <laughs> the the Ninja Theory guy came, and then it said world premiere, and I'm like, all right, here we go, more Hellblade, like real gameplay this time, and they show some other game, and it wasn't even the, it wasn't even Hellblade. They just like forgot about Hellblade. It's like, oh, I deleted that that clip. I'm sorry. <laughs> like I don't know. I don't get it. I mean, you set up like why did you have all that set up and like you know more explanation about Hellblade and not even show it? Like to me, like again, like you know, you guys know, like I'm on the pulse of Twitter, and after that Xbox show, the thing that got talked about the most was that Hellblade trailer. People were like, oh man, like the Hellblade trailer is crazy. And they didn't even show it. They didn't show any new thing. And in the first presentation, they show much more than they did. Yeah, here. I they did just notice really that. That trailer here. I, I just don't get it. Okay. Like, it made no sense to me. Like, you, you had a perfect, you know, you had a perfect thing. You gave Halo so much gameplay here. And the game that, like, you had an awesome CD trailer that you could have really built up and, you know, got the hype even more you know for it and hellblade you just kind of like left there like i just you know that was a problem for me i mean to me because that was the game that i was like you know i actually asked player essence in the stream today and i said to him i was like you know what's like the game that you think is like the most next gen you know so far and like he couldn't even answer it and then i said like to me i'd say probably be like like hellblade like uh, to me that game just kind of like stood out to me and like the detail and the way it was that just didn't look like a ps4 game to me it looked like a better version than that and they just they just dropped the ball on it and then my second problem with the presentation is that i understand like you know you want to give games you want to get games but a lot of these games we don't even know what they are you know what i mean like there's yeah. there's, there's too many new ips like, I'm sorry, you know, and I, I said this on, on Twitter, and I said, you know, I stand behind it. Like, you know, Microsoft was not the leader last generation. They can't coast with these presentations. Like, you know, if they were the leader and they're saying, oh, you know, I really trust Microsoft, I'm riding them high, and they want to show new IPs, you know, you've earned that with the last generation. I mean, like you can be a little more experimental because you your fan base is more dedicated. Here, a lot of these games, like besides like the image and form game that like we know the developer or something, like a lot of these other games that I mean they just I don't I can't even remember them because they were like so kind of like forgettable and they weren't like they didn't really I mean some of them looked like like switch games, like they didn't even really <laughs> look like you know, so groundbreaking, like, you know, they're trying to pass it off as, oh, you know, it could be like for art style and stuff, but it, they just didn't impress me. And, and like, I feel like, you know, yeah, we had Halo, we had Fable, you had State of Decay, you know, Fantasy Star, like, like we know those, you had Forza, but, you know, they needed a couple more, like, instead of those, in, if I would have, like, me personally, if I was playing the presentation together, I would have cut four of those indie games to get another big, you know, banger, you know, game that's like more well known and established. Like for me, a game that would have put them over the top in this presentation and would have really like knocked everybody's socks off, especially going off the the momentum of Ghost of Tsushima right now. If Ninja Theory, you know, gave a little bit of a trailer on Hellblade and then said, all right, and here's our next project. And they went into like a legit Ninja Gaiden Black sequel or something like that. Don't, don't break Gaiden, my don't break my heart. That would have been now to me, that would have been awesome. Like that would have been like, you know, like there's a lot of history there with the IP. The new games were really good, you know, and they haven't and they've been dormant on it. So, like, why not bring a game like that? You know, there were rumors about Perfect Dark with Rare. You know, they could have showed a little bit more about Everwild and then dropped, you know, a little bit about Perfect Dark and, like, kind of blew the internet up. There was nothing here that, like, blew the internet up. You see what I'm saying? Like, Fable sure. did... Fable is probably the most 
likely that it did, but they didn't even have that much gameplay there. I feel like if they had one more, you know, and they cut some of these other indie games, like I, I won't call them indies, but like games that are like newer IPs in favor of another established one, it would have really helped the presentation. So I think those are like my two biggest gripes with it. And you know, that's that's the it. that's the problem. I'm sorry, sorry to cut you off there, Alonzo. Uh, Go ahead. Uh, no, my fault. I was gonna say I had a lot of counter argument to that mm -hmm. new IP thing. But the thing about that is one of the things that Microsoft was always criticized with is mm -hmm. people saying, Are they ever gonna do anything besides for on Gears, Halo, and Forza? Oh, and okay. so the new IPs I think was actually a good thing. Because they're showing that they actually been listening to the feedback and saying that, oh, we're going to try to branch out and not just rely on Gears, Forza, and, and Halo. We're going to try to branch out and it, give new experiences. It was. Well. I understand what you're saying there. But when they were saying that, they didn't own Obsidian. They didn't own these yeah. new studios that they had. Yeah, they true. didn't own Ninja Theory. Do you see what I'm saying? Oh. So now yeah, you like own her. those studios. You see what I'm saying? Like they That's have true. IPs. That, that are quality that they probably want to work on again that you know can gotcha. be exclusive to the system that people know about like i don't know about you guys but if a ninja gaiden got announced today i would have been hype like you know what i'm saying like if, if 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 like a perfect dark from rare dropped today i would have been hype you see what i'm saying like i'm not hype for some of these new ips and the thing is microsoft had to, microsoft had to hit a home run and yes I agree. Like the, the variety is good. It is. And, it, and some of these games may end up being amazing. I'm not saying they're not going to be. I'm just saying right now, like you're trying to build up hype and you're trying to like restore hype in your brand you, for your games, not your, not your controllers, not your hardware. <laughs> they're good with sure. that. You know, give me hype on your software. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what my problem is. And now you have these new okay. studios, so you should do it. And like what you said, that's totally right, though. When people were doing those arguments, I totally agree with that. But now they're bigger. Their their Xbox, you know, game development division is much bigger now. And they, they got to bring it more. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you on that. The variety was really good. I mean, there were, if you had to sit there and say, well, these are the games. This is the system. It, there's a little something there for everybody. There's. There's no denying that you have your shooters, you have your adventure, you have your interactive storytelling and and whatnot. But here's where here's where I have the problem with Microsoft. They don't know how to take care of their first party titles. There's no question well, about that. that. Um, you know, you, you had Dead Rising at one point as an exclusive. You should have yeah. worked out a deal with Capcom to, that, you know, Capcom. to continue that deal because you can't get Street Fighter V because Sony funded it. So I would have, you know, created a deal to completely fund that series and keep that series home. And then, you know, ob ob obviously there's some other games that, you know, I had in my head a second ago, but they're not there. But, you know, you, you have Forza, you have Gears and you have Halo. And then at the end of the day, oh, Ninja Gaiden was exclusive at one point to Xbox. And, you know, that got and they own And they own one. Ninja Theory. Exactly. So, you know, for me, while we may get a Ninja Gaiden game in the future... That's exclusive to Xbox. Right, exactly. There's only there's three franchises. Play. They don't have anything that's yeah. truly memorable. And as a person that's playing Gears 5 and Tactics and all that, um, <laughs> if I really had to sit there and give you my top five memorable video game franchises, Gears would be one of them. But you can kind of see where the drop-off is with Gears because after Gears Judgment... It started to fall off. I mean, four was okay, but you know, it five was, five this, was good, but not as good as four. At no, least. yeah, I mean, don't give me the ending. I know it's already open ended, but you know, it it's <laughs> it, it's it doesn't have the same substance. Like when Dom died in Gears Three, spoiler alert. Yeah. Um, um, you know, it it hit it alert. it hit me. It hit me. You know when. Yeah. when when um well, it's like nathan drake you know I mean? yeah when when uh when uh marcus phoenix got you know pres you know a presumptively eaten by that uh enemy i can't Gears remember that yeah. yeah no i thought he was Gears dead four, yeah. but no yeah, they too. bring him back they should have kept him dead and had that emotional impact make made the game that much there's nothing to me that um says you know microsoft can take care of their titles um but 
I will say this about Halo. It looks fantastic in terms of, you know, the the, the overall the scope. Gameplay. The, the gameplay looks No, good. the scope. The scope of the game. Like, I mm-hmm. I feel like Master Chief, in terms of the story, is concerned. Um, they're like, there's this big scope and that there's something that they're setting out to do, you know, to prevent, you know, future know destruction or chaos from happening that's 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 what i got from that like if i can envision you know an endless stream of excitement and action all for it but you know if you are going to tell me that we're gonna have these games come into play and they're gonna be lackluster like you know gears five and halfway through gears four and you know all this other I, i'm not really interested i i, I just I'm, I'm optimistic because there's games, you know, so they got to get their footing under them. And I mean, Sony has, you know, all these properties underneath their belt because they literally own Spider-Man. They funded Street Fighter and Resident Evil. I mean, let's we just were, face it. This is the thing. Be there. I was hoping that with this presentation, I mean, Microsoft, you know, they opened up the war chest and they bought these studios. And right. They should have really done something thought, with it. I really thought they were going to show a little bit more of like some big IPs that these studios own that they were going to get me excited. Like a person who, you know, I like Xbox. I have Game Pass on PC. How do you like I it on PC, it, by the way? I have it on the you know, I have it for free because I got the um oh, okay. bug too. But but like, you know, somebody who like dabbles in Xbox every once in a while, but like I wanted to I wanted like them to like really flex, you know, and like I was I was actually telling one of the one of my homies, uh Nintendo on um on Twitter, I was telling him, I was like, dude, you only get one chance to make a big first impression. And this was Microsoft's big first impression I didn't want to hear about August. Like right now I'm in July. You guys hyped this presentation ever since the first one. You were like, you know, wait till this one. This is the one that's really going to do. And I mean, I was a little, I I did it. I think like for all the hype and for everything, I I just don't feel like they, they hit it hard enough. I think they needed a little bit more um, to really get people like you, Lonzo, who are on the fence the people that are on the fence, like we love video games and so, you know, we're all multi-platform owners. Like I get that, but you know, again, like I'll, I'll know, say do this. Do we want to get it at launch or do we want to wait? You know, that's, that's the thing. Sure. This presentation didn't, didn't sway me or to like, to I'll say this though. The, yeah. the, the presentation was only a part one. So they, you know, at, at the end, so, part one, but what I'm saying well, is part mentally, two, technically. Like, yeah, it was partly tech too. Well, but yeah, tech, yeah, technically, technically, but when they said that you may have noticed that you haven't seen everything that's on this list, I'm like, well, they did show me yeah, something. I understand that. But like, again, to me, like this is a month now, another month closer to the launch that I'm just up in the air and I'm not. They're gonna. Not I sold. think they're gonna drop a bomb. I think. I. I honestly like. I with, thought they were gonna drop the bomb here. That's what I'm trying. To no, say. Like, they're not. It off so much they're not. They're. they're, they're, they're I mean, what they're doing is they're. Fable was a bomb. To, like to me pro, personally, they, but, they, but they, they yeah, yeah, it's yeah, what they're gonna do. What what they're doing is they're waiting to see Sony's full deck of cards. That's what they're and doing. Sony doing the same. Thing. Exactly. So you're gonna get a lot of so this. That's what I'm saying. I think, but again. Like I was telling you guys before, Sony is ahead right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, you know, we're going into the sixth inning here, okay? Sony's got a 5-1 to one lead in this baseball game. Yeah, could you score four runs, like, down the road? Yeah, but you know what? Sony's got an awesome closer, and they got a good bullpen. So it's going to be really hard unless you knock it out of the park. Because that, got, that, that God of War is coming war. soon. They got to push harder. That God of War news is going to come Definitely sooner think, than people I think. think. I, I mean, I, I think they are right now. I think they're ahead. I think I think Spider-Man, Horizon, um, you know, Ratchet and Clank, those to me, I'm more excited about those three games. Than any exactly. Game that if you go, if, if you go by, ex- if you go by exclusives, I got Sony up three to two. You got Spider-Man, you got Ratchet and Clank, you got Horizon to Hellblade and halo and that's like 
really that's really so, giving so Microsoft. I still think I still think PlayStation's ahead though. I still went. Yeah. I still went. Fable make them even. <laughs> no, uh, no. Fable, Fable does Fable, no. Fable didn't show as much as yeah. Fable that's is true. like you know it didn't show as much. I mean Ratchet no, and Clank, Miles Morales, and Horizon. We got way more for those games. Reason why I said reason why I said reason why I said Fable. Which I love I love Fable though. So, so, yeah, so so many people, so many people are looking forward to seeing it. That's why I'm saying just by that alone. That's why I met your Fable. Oh yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, it was so but... important that like to me if they didn't like I'm gonna give, we're gonna give our final scores next. But what I'm saying if that wasn't in there, this presentation would have sure. dropped like two and a half points. For me okay i agree okay. I, I agree with that you know what i'm saying so like that's what i mean so it was important it was super important but i'm just saying like in comparison right now so all right lonzo yeah. let's go what is your if you had to rate this presentation one to ten um you know what did, what did you rate it and why me i would rate it a six okay, a six fair. out of ten and the uh, reason why is we like we all mentioned it wasn't really nothing there that really showed me why i need to have that system day one i mean why well, technically already had that feeling going in but mm-hmm. after this presentation it pretty much affirmed what i always knew going yeah you didn't change it didn't sway you <laughs> it, didn't change, it didn't sway my opinion so that's the reason why i gave it a six out of ten okay but it was a good it was a good show it just wasn't really nothing really that interested to me I mean, it had to be like to me. If it was anything below six, it would have been a disaster. So, at least they got to that. Like, I'll give them that. But if it was anything lower than that, this is an epic fail for me. Um, all right. So, Carl, what did, what did you think about the presentation, man? Um, one to ten. I'm gonna give it a. I'm gonna give it a modest three point five. Um, out of ten. Out of ten. Oh. Yeah, you know, you can't Three look here here, here here here's the I got, I got, I got, I got it. Here, here, here's the yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be the controversial guy here because Okay, right. Sea of Thieves doesn't count. You know, um They always fantasy, show that for like ten I don't care. F- Destiny doesn't count. F- you know, I, fantasy I, I, star I, I, fantasy I, star fantasy I, yeah, I thought you were gonna go to seven just for fantasy that. star <laughs> online <laughs> fantasy star online doesn't count because you can play it now you know and then you know halo halo doesn't look next gen entirely it doesn't there's nobody is going to sit there and tell me that when that guy was taking off his little seat belt no terrible and there, none of those games look like they are next gen. No way about it. And then okay. let's let's just put the three point five on. Let's just really justify it. Halo is <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> look, I think low. Sea of Thieves, four, bro. Sea like, of Thieves. That's low, man. Sea of Thieves uh, is on Steam. Halo Infinite is listed on Steam. That's Help. Microsoft's strategy. Yeah, That's yeah, so their their strategy is biting them in the ass. And this 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 push for XCloud and Game Pass. If you're going to cool. It's great. No, I love it. Put it on Switch, put it on PlayStation, put it on everything. Pour it out because that's the future. That that is the future. None of these games make me want the console. That's why it's a 3.5. Okay. If 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 I can get okay. Halo on Xbox One X, if I can get Halo on PC, what's the point? You don't have anything in there that's going to make okay. me buy your system. Yeah. For, well, for me, we're gonna, but we're going to go back to what Lonzo said and how that might be a smart move, especially now with the times that we're in. You know, people it's a might smart. Not be able to it's drop a smart move. Six hundred bucks at, at launch. It's I mean, a, they might from be a able business to play standpoint. These well, from a business game. standpoint, it's fantastic because if you have a PC, you can buy it, download it, play it, and if you already have an Xbox, you can it's buy it, download, and play it. Like, you, know. you know, but I'm judging this solely based on the game or that system prompting me to sit there and go. Oh my God, Spider-Man, Miles Morales. I got to go buy that system. What? It's only on PlayStation 5. Sure, you can have my money. You know, I need that I need that wow factor. And Well, yeah, I said that before. I, I yeah, exactly, that. exactly. Yeah, so that's that's where it is. None all of these there's games being I'm tired of this let's port everything over. Let's port everything over. I could understand Destiny 
you know, I, and, I get, and I all get, that stuff. I get and, ports to more on Switch because right. a lot of those games, first of all, it's portable. Right. Second of all, a lot of those IPs were never with Nintendo. Exactly. Like Bioshock, never so, with Nintendo. Borderlands, never with know. Nintendo. Exactly. That I get. I, that's I fine get those more that's fine but if you're gonna if you're gonna sell me on an interactive comic destiny you know um gta and uh i keep forgetting to say the name properly but fantasy star online too it, yeah. nothing no no and halo no okay. it's I, I that's fine yeah I, I should give a more detailed thing but honestly no they no, that's fine they, there was one game that really stood out, and that was the one at the end, which was only about a minute long, and that was Fable. That was yeah, it. Fable, Fable to me was like the if if it didn't have Fable, it would have been like much lower. It got me curious enough to go on Steam and and you know at least mm -hmm. do what cool. I do what I did. That's if you had games that sit there and said and told me, hey, you got to spend my money. That's how you get my points. It, just because you have games doesn't mean. I mean, Atari had games. Where did it get them? Yeah. So I agree. I yeah. think I think Sorry. I mean from yeah, from that's cool. From I mean that's fine. I, I think that's a little low personally, but okay. You, you know, it's your opinion. That's fine. I hurt your I'm feelings. Go, All right, I'll, I'm go, four. Go, with, I'll go four. I'm gonna go with like a six point five seven <laughs> on the presentation. Um the thing the problem though, let's see, look, let me explain though. Six point five seven because I thought it was a well paced presentation. They did have had a lot of games. They did show some Japanese support. They did show you know single player games and experiences. It wasn't all just multiplayer. But the problem was, even though I gave it a seven, that's a really good like a pretty solid score. They needed a nine. They needed a nine and a half. They needed like a nine and three quarters. Like. I didn't get that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got glimpses of it. Like, to me, I mean, you gave eight minutes of Halo. That's what people wanted. So they did deliver on that. They they brought Fable back. Forza looks, I mean, whether you think, you know, car games or whatever, it did look insane. Like, the game looks yeah. incredible. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, if, I mean, if you want to argue another next-gen game that, you know, would look like that, Forza's your... your well, well, on, honestly, I don't. Uh, you know I, I, if I could, incredible if me. I could chime in right there, when it comes to ra when it comes to racing car game, it doesn't matter what system they're on; they all look good. No, you know? I know, but this you know, is, so I it, tell them, this was sure. this was a little step above. I well, well, I'll I'll say that because I did have to take like a triple take at the car, but yeah, you know, they, they looks they look. But dope. burnout reflection, you can put shadow, Forza. They look pretty dope. You can put Forza on the Switch and it'll look just as good. I mean, it'll look it, the, the, good. the reason why is because... The draw distance would suck, though, and the frame the, rate would be... The draw of distance of would that. suck, but here's the thing with racing games. Your, ma your, main foc <laughs> your, your main focus <laughs> in a racing game is the car. It's not, it's not a racing game. It's, it's, it's I know. Yeah. It's, 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 it's own yeah, category. It's own Yeah. The, 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 the thing with racing games is the main attraction is the car. You don't have to put detail into the background as much. The track, yeah, you can put some detail in there because, let's face it, you're going to look at the track. But most of the time, you're going to be looking at the car. So that's, a, that's why I feel like racing games really should be in their own little category. In terms of, that's cool. I, yeah. I get it. If, if you include, okay. if you I'm include saying, Forza, like, like I want to be, I want to see, like I want to, I want that eye candy. You know what that's I mean? true. Like, it's a game easy to get eye candy. If you, if you include yeah. Forza in this whole thing, like in terms of what you're speaking, I, I would give it a five point five as opposed to a three point five. I would okay. say that okay. yeah. Forza. And also, I mean, also, I want to give love. I mean, I know a lot of people don't like this series, but we didn't talk about it. But Psychonauts, I think with HDR and 4K, that game would look really cool. Because I'm big in HDR and stuff. So I think that game True. would look really cool. And I did cool. forget about Psychonauts that. Psychonauts is a pretty cool IP. You know what I mean? Like, it's not one of my favorites, but it's pretty cool. So and they got Dead yeah. Black Singer. Yeah. Give me brutal and they, legend and, too. And they had Everwild. And I and and the thing is, and then another thing, like I don't think I mentioned it before, but they did they dabbled in into showing some of how the backwards compatible games would be up res. Like they did it for Ori, and that was really cool. Yeah. How they did that. I wish they would have shown that for more games. You know what I mean? Like, like do not like a big portion of it, but kind of like you know how Nintendo does those um and they're like regular directs. They do like, um, you know, the 
the the the ones that go really fast and they just kind of like the sizzle reel. Yeah, the sizzle reels like for a sizzle reel of just kind of like wipe screens, you know, of like how this looks on Xbox One, you know, uh, VCR to Series X, and just kind of like show like it was like five or six of those, just kind of like going in because Microsoft is pushing backwards compatibility, and I wish they did that a little bit more um, with this presentation because that's the thing. Even if you do, I think we said this in another cast, but even if you don't have all these great groundbreaking new games, if you can push that, hey. You know, we say this as Nintendo fans all the time. If you could push your back catalog and say, hey, you could play everything from Xbox One original to Series X on one system. I mean, that's big for a lot of people. And, and, you know, that's the thing. Like some of these games, like if you're reaching and reaching, why not just show, you know, the the new life you can breathe into the classics? Like what about they show like Kotar? You know, like like that would be cool. Like just Lost up res, Lost what Odyssey, about Bruce Lee, up-res. Crest of the Dragon? Or like, that's what I'm saying. Like all these games, like that, you know, we like on, you know, we've liked on other Xbox systems that you can, you know, give a nice little fresh coat of paint to. I think that's something they kind of sure. didn't do enough of, and that's why I think they docked it a little bit on my score, like between six and a half, seven. Um, and you know, another thing too is like Carl said, it's not what I would have done. It's not what I would have wanted. Um, but they did kind of say, you know, they did lead up. It was a solid breadcrumb in the trail. So that's why I kind of gave it where it is. But I, I feel like they really needed to hit harder, and they didn't. And unfortunately, so I hope in August they you know, show definitely you know showcase Hellblade next time like just showcase it if i if i had to some big surprises with like even if you just in that game a couple years off yeah but even if you just do like but you know i'm saying it's a couple years off but like show me like just do you know you gotta like a little time like just do something in engine like you know just even like one section just for this presentation yeah, it might not even be in the final version but just just do something that like could get people excited and really like you know, see the light at the, at the tunnel with a game like that. You know what I'm saying? So- if I if I had to give Microsoft a piece of advice in terms of their game development staff, I would sit there and get a whiteboard and get a list of all the PlayStation exclusives that Sony has. And try to match it and up. And match it up with what mm-hmm. they have. You you already have your Halo, you have your, you have your you have your gears, you have your Halo. That's it. That's what you have. Um Forza. Well, yeah, Forza 2. So you have three franchises that are exclusive to your platform. Sony has Forza the best way more. Out of the three. <laughs> from, a quality, like from a quality, yeah, from, from a quality from standpoint. A, from, a, from a quality standpoint, Forza and consistency, is the best and consistency. Yes, at, it's all, they're always good. Gears is pretty, pretty good. Though. I mean, all three are good. I mean, they're all good. But I'm saying, yeah. But you know, with like Halo and Gears, people have questions about individual mm-hmm. games. The Forza games, you don't really ever hear anyone saying mm-hmm. having questions nine, about exactly. Forza, there, I would Forza. prefer I would prefer Forza over um, Gran Turismo any day because the driving mechanics are stellar, the graphics look great, the sounds are great, and they're innovative. Yeah, they, exactly. They exactly. New things, in exactly. The genre, which I think is yeah. nice. so that that's that's what I would say to Microsoft. Just get a whiteboard, match up the exclusives, whatever is lacking. Say, hey, look, well, they got God of War. What can we offer? In terms of a similar experience, if not better, that makes people want to buy our console. That's it. So we got all right. So let's let's recap here. We got Lonzo with the six. We got Carl between a three and a half and a five. And Just a give half. it a five. Just give it a five and a half. Just okay, give it a five. Five. And a half. five is more fair. And I'm like six and a half, seven. I'm probably I don't know why I'm the most optimistic, but whatever. Six and a half, <laughs> seven. Oh, another thing that I personally miss that I would have loved to see, I would have loved to see the Cuphead DLC here as well. Oh my god! A huge missed opportunity. Oh my god! Yes, uh, it is. For that. I wonder what's up um, with that. <laughs> oh my god! I just would have. I'm like dying for that game, and just um, to see it, like to see it, like I mean, again, I know that art style doesn't matter. You could, I mean, on Switch it looks the same as Xbox One X, but like that that art style is just like so revolutionary for me to just see it like the first time in xbox series x i think that would have made like 
such a you know such a big splash i think um i think it would be great opportunity it would be great for the dlc to come out because that means that company would have to release the physical edition for Mm, which that's dude that's why i didn't buy it on switch yeah i I have it on pc and xbox it's supposed to get a physical release when it yeah Mm -hmm. and this is also oh mm -hmm. sorry no you can't also love Take it back, take it back off what you said about you were saying that um Microsoft should um see look at Sony's franchises and try mm-hmm. to match up. Actually, I agree. I agree with that because like Microsoft, they mostly know as this first person shooter and realistic racing game company. I think they should like branch out into like other genres so they can not just only be nuts. So they can be like more like Sony and Nintendo. They 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 got franchises across all genres. And Microsoft is the only one who just who just known for just making two good and just two genres, just driving and first person shooters. They should branch out to other genres. I mean, they start to now by bringing back Fable, and then they got Insidious, City and Wicked RPGs. So they starting to branch oh. out. But oh, and they're gonna bring back Scalebound in August. Okay, awesome. Um, oh, yeah. oh my god, I I've been yeah. waiting for that game forever. I love to see that come back. That to me, that's another one that would have. Blew me out of the water. If they I resurrected still can't believe they it, cancel that. I know. I I wish they would have resurrected it and and put it on um on on series. Can you imagine that game on Series X, 4K, 60? Oh my God! I mean, a platinum game, 4K, 60. Oh, so nice. That'd be so dope. Yeah. Um, you know. So you know, we'll see. I hope. I mean, they got a Microsoft's got a. They got a. They got to build back the rapport with platinum. I, I just love platinum so much that um you know i think xbox and talk about you know building more of that japanese base um you know if they if platinum does another like near game or something like that that's you know that's gotta be showcased by them and it's got you know they gotta get that goodwill back uh, with platinum i think they really took a hit after scale bound so um all right, guys. I think I think that's it. I mean, is there anything else you guys want to add before we we wrap up here? I think that's a good summation of the event. Um, yeah, I got anything one else? Thing. Yeah, okay. Well, I, I, I need I need I need that Lost Odyssey sequel, Microsoft. Uh, yeah. I need that I need that Lost Ooh. Odyssey too. <laughs> the the first uh, game was amazing. So we need that Lost that Odyssey too. That's one of the games that I think in my post I said needed a sequel like so badly. <laughs> Um, I, I got one thing to add. Secret of Blue Dragon. Oh, Secret yeah, of Blue yeah, yeah. Dragon. Blue Dra- okay. I know I got one on 3DS. Mm-hmm. I know it got Secret on 3DS, but I would love to know Blue Dragon was legit on Xbox 360. Yeah, I would love to yeah, see like it. Somewhere you can push, we can push the power on it. Yeah. Carl, anything else uh, you want to add? Yeah, I, I got something to add. Medium is going to be available on Steam. I just got I just got a notification saying that it's gonna be on Steam. <laughs> I'm gonna add one other thing: the Outer Worlds <laughs> DLC will also be on other platforms as well. It's I mean I know that Obsidian you know they ported it before. Some people were yeah. saying, well, now that it's Microsoft, are they oh. not gonna be able to do the DLC in other places? But it is gonna come to other platforms as well. So figured that out today. All right. Well, I think that's it. Um, K Rock, where can they find you, man? Uh, you guys can find me at K Rock underscore eighty two over on Twitter, and Carl underscore Rocco on Twitch, and obviously on YouTube at Carl Rocco. Yep. All right, Lonzo, where can they find you, man? What's good? Y'all can find me on Twitter at Lil Al seven five seven seven five. I need to change that. That's been too long, but I'll fix it one of these days. But <laughs> yeah, you can find me on Twitter with my tr- with my good trolls. I like to troll people. Yeah, don't take that too seriously. Thing, don't don't yeah, take it too just, don't take it too seriously. Just, I just be joking around, so don't take it too <laughs> seriously. <laughs> Taking a page from V sips there, man. Um, but. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, you can find me uh, on YouTube and on Twitter at VG Mobster. Uh, I just hit 500 subscribers, um, so I'm doing a giveaway um, for a $10 gift card to your choice. If you guys want to get pre-order some Xbox games, or if you want to get um, a Nintendo some Switch games or PlayStation or Steam, um, the code is available for any of those. Um, so make sure you guys enter that. It's on my Twitter. And uh, I got a couple cool videos coming up just want to talk about. I got one coming up about gaming tattoos. 
which is really, really awesome. Um, some of these tattoos are going to like blow you away. They're like so awesome. And I have a video coming out, um, a collaboration music video project, which I'm actually really excited about. Uh, in my other life, I used to do hip hop music. So um, really cool to kind of get those back on. I got some really talented YouTubers um, helping me and actually a really unsung talent um, from Facebook, who I think is going to be the next Adele. She's that good. Um, she's going to be on the track as well. Um, and I'm just editing it together. So that should be dropping next week. And we're going to do a big kind of rollout for it. So um, look out for that. So that's it from me. It's up from you guys. All right, guys, until the next cast, um, just comment below. Let us know what you guys thought about the Xbox presentation. Um, what did you rate it? What were your highs? What were your lows? Um, just let us know. We are going to be going soon. I know we keep saying this, but within the next one or two casts, we are going to be going live with this. and We're going to be able to interact with all you guys. Um, you know, now we have our bearings uh, ready and we're ready to start talking with the fans while we talk and uh, have fun with it. So we're we're working there. Uh, you know, it's better to you got to walk uh, crawl before you walk. So that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. But again, thank you so much for tuning into the cast and uh, every, all of our links and stuff will also be in the descriptions if you want to subscribe. So until the next one, peace oh, out. Before we go, I got one question. Mm hmm. So you got play, you play, you got playing Ghost of Tsushima. Carl is streaming it, so make sure you check out. Oh, thank you, it. thank you for that. I don't, you know, yes, yes, I yes. got, I gotta get used to self promoting. I mean, it's, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, this, this, right, this, I just, I this is yeah, on your YouTube channel, so I'm trying not to. That's how I brought it up. I'm trying not to self promote all that much, given yeah, that you know this right. is being uploaded to your you're channel. Talented, but, man, you're good. But, bro. but, but yes, I'm playing Ghost of Tsushima on Twitch. I. Start the first four episodes were in um Kurosawa mode because I wanted to pay tribute to my film teacher and I grandfather. Loved it, I thought it was cool. And then um, you know, it's gonna be in samurai cinema mode from here on out. And that's pretty I much it. Um and if if I may just tag on one little thing, um I wanna say thank you to everybody who reached out to me during my mental struggles. Um it I'm still going through them a little bit and um I'm going to be doing videos here and there to, you know, if, if I feel like I need to vent because honestly, I don't have anybody to talk to a uh, therapist, you know, they're useless because they repeat the same questions back to you and things like that. But, you know, I'm going to be doing some videos like that again in the future, but um, I want to apologize for not getting my last of us Two uh video out because of that. Um, but tomorrow my review will be up and I hope you guys tune in for that. All right, man. I I just want to say uh, before we go that mm -hmm. man man VG we here for you if you ever need anything just reach out to us we got you oh absolutely uh, you you guys um yeah you guys mean a lot to me I'll I'll say that not to go sappy on you guys at the end <laughs> cool, man. Cool, brother. <laughs> yeah. even Tony Soprano went to therapy man don't worry that's true um, so <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so until the next one peace. take care guys peace out.